Now, forewarn weather with Exact Track 4D radar. Exclusive technology for the most up to the minute weather information in your neighborhood. All right, Brandon is back with that forewarn forecast. It yes. looks like it's going to be a nice night if you want to take the dog to the park Good or idea. go do something crazy. You're going to go for a run later? No, I ran this morning. Okay. You know what I'm doing? I'm going to see Chicago. Ooh, at the Fisher? Yeah. Isn't that going to be Very fun? nice. Yeah, I mean, that. We've got the Red Wings are mm -hmm. tonight. Yeah, there's lots of good stuff going on. Of course. Maybe you've got, uh, you know, soccer practice, softball practice, yeah. something going on, uh, and you're good to go. Now, tomorrow, I think, also good to go, but we do have a system coming in or moving through Metro Detroit. Here's a look, Ann Arbor. We've got some milky sunshine, 50 degrees, Detroit, Ann Arbor. Winds on the lighter side, basically out of the west, anywhere from five to 10. And yeah, if you're heading to the Red Wings game to Chicago, I mean, downtown Detroit Fisher Theater for Chicago. We've got temperatures as you're parking in the upper 40s to near 50 coming out of the game or the theater or whatever you have going on. 10, 11 o'clock, we're dropping into the low 40s, maybe even upper 30s later tonight. High harmless clouds in the area now. There's a cold front to our north that is sweeping through tomorrow and then another system that we're watching very closely for a an active Friday and Saturday coming into Metro Detroit. So here's how it shapes up for your Wednesday. We start dry and it looks like a well timed storm here and not a big one. It's a disturbance from 11 a.m. until about 2 p.m. tomorrow and that'll be a little rain and snow middle 40s and that front comes through temps will drop and I think Thursday morning probably the chilliest of the week with clearing skies and that cold front. Here's a look tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. again starting dry well timed in that it's not impacting the morning drive or the evening drive and this model shows more snow than anything, and you can see it moves through pretty quickly and doesn't do a whole lot as it comes through. Can't rule out a, a dusting or so of some snow uh, tomorrow afternoon, especially north of M59. That's really about it. And then it's dry Thursday after a chilly start, teens and low 20s. We say this just in case anybody has planted anything. I mean, that is going to be a tough morning for anything newly planted. 47 degrees on your Thursday afternoon, and then we're going to hit 60 on uh, Friday and Saturday with huh. rain and thunder likely. Heaviest will be Friday night, Karen. All right, we'll be ready for it. Thanks, Brandon. Like yeah. the lavender. We're matching. You too. I know.